Hi everybody. Today's focus, I am testing Brillo's Snow Bowl Toilet Bowl Cleaner to see if it can remove bacteria from my toilet. This video is a viewer request. Michelle says, I've used Snow Bowl for decades. Used to be on store shelves, but now I have to order it from Ace Hardware by the case, which contains 12 bottles and costs about $45. It works better than anything on the market if you have hard water. Now I'm wondering how well it works on the actual bacteria. So Michelle, we're gonna find out today. I would like to point out that on the Snow Bowl packaging, I can't find anywhere here where they make any claims to remove bacteria. Their claim on the front is that it's an extra strain, thick formula, it clings for a powerful clean and removes rust and hard water stains. So it doesn't actually claim to be able to remove bacteria at all, but we're still gonna test it to see because Michelle was wondering. In order to test how well the snow bowl works, I'm gonna take a petri dish just like this guy here and label it A, B, and C. I'm gonna take some sterile swabs and I'm gonna swab my toilet bowl. I'm gonna place that sample in the section labeled B for before. Then I'm gonna clean according to the snow bowl directions, sample again, and place that sample in the section labeled A for after. C is my control, nothing's gonna go there. So let's read how we're supposed to use Brillo's snow bowl. All right, it says, the directions, flush to remove excess dirt before cleaning, apply product under and around the rim to coat inside the bowl, watch as the thick blue liquid begins to power through the grime, rust, minerals, and hard water stains, brush entire bowl thoroughly, and flush, and then rinse your brush with fresh water. Okay, so that is pretty standard, I think. The other thing different I'm seeing is that they don't give an actual amount. Oftentimes when I'm testing toilet bowl cleaners, it surprises me because they'll say, apply four ounces of the liquid, apply eight ounces of the liquid. This just says to squirt around the bowl. I will make sure I coat it well. I'll probably go around the bowl twice to make sure that we have enough cleaner on there. It does say that if you have some tough stains, which I do not have, then you can apply a generous amount of the liquid on the tough stain and let it soak for 15 minutes, then brush. Uh, but we're not gonna do that because we don't have any tough stains. We're just gonna follow the directions for just cleaning the toilet. So let's see how well Brillo's Snow Bowl Toilet Bowl Cleaner removes bacteria from my toilet. Now for some results. The first sample. In the before section, we can see a lot of bacteria. That's a good sampling of bacteria. And in the after section, we can see a visible decrease in bacteria. There is still some bacteria hanging around, but there most certainly is a visible decrease. So the snow bowl did a pretty good job at removing bacteria from my toilet bowl. The second sample. In the before section, we can see a lot of bacteria. And in the after section, again, we can see a visible decrease in bacteria. 
So overall, the snow bowl did a pretty good job of removing some of the bacteria from my toilet bowl, even though they make no claim to be able to remove any bacteria. It was a very thick liquid. I did feel it clung very well to the sides of the toilet bowl. The snow bowl does have almost a minty scent to it. Um, it's not overpowering, it's not overbearing, and it does go away after flushing the toilet. Um, but it does have a bit of a kind of a minty scent to it. I enjoyed testing the Brillo Snow Bowl Toilet Bowl Cleaner. It was interesting to see its ability to remove bacteria, even though it didn't make any claims to be able to remove bacteria. It does make claims to remove rust and hard water stains. I just don't have any of those on my toilet bowl right now to test. If I ever get some rust or hard water stains, I most certainly would retest it. If there is a product that you would like me to test, do me a favor and put it in the comment section and I will add it to my viewer suggestion list or you can mail me something. My mailbox address is in the description below. Just do me a favor and send me an email that's also in the description below so that I know it's from you and so that I know I should check my mailbox. I hope you enjoyed this video. Take care. Have yourselves a great day.